Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, January 6, 2024. I can't believe it. It seems like time is just flying by, and it'll be Christmas again before you know it. So this morning, I hope you guys are wide awake and uh, still in your pajamas like me. I uh, just crawled out of bed a couple hours ago and um, threw this card together real quick. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. And um, I was trying to get it done a couple days ago and I never had a chance. So um, I had to get up this morning and do it. So <laughs> I was just scrambling this morning trying to get this card ready. So hopefully um, a lot of people will join us. How many of you guys are still in your pajamas today? It is one of those days. It's raining and kind of cold and yucky here. I still have a little bit of this cold lingering, so I'm a little bit nasally today, but um, I'm gonna stay in my pajamas all day long and stamp and watch movies, so I'm looking forward to a nice, relaxing Saturday. Oh, Starla, you got snow. Almost everybody is still in their pajamas. Most people just got up. <laughs> I know some of you guys are a couple hours behind me, so it's really early there and still morning. So let me say hello to everybody. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Starla. Hey, Carol. Hey, Pat. Hey, Marie. Um, hey, Amy. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Robin. Hey, Joan. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Tina. Hey, Vicki. Hey, C. Quincer. Hey, Debbie. Oh, I think I already said Debbie. Oh, another Debbie. Hey, Coral. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Judith. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Wendy. Everybody's flying by, by now. Okay. Hey, Lori. Um, so, <clears throat> oh, two inches of snow. Oh, we haven't had any snow yet, but uh, it is chilly. Cynthia Ford from Indianapolis. Hey, Cindy. Today is my 63rd birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Bill. Going to work on some Valentine's cards. Okay. So, um, Carrie's on here. She sent me some jokes this morning, and um, I didn't have time to write you back, but we're going to use one of those jokes today. It's one I've already told, but it was a long, long time ago. So, hopefully, most of you guys forgot it already, because I forgot it till I read the punchline. I was like, oh, yeah, I did this one before, but it's a really funny one. So, we're going to do that joke this um, after the video. And uh, we're just going to do a quick and easy card today. We're making three of these, and they're the book binding um, fun fold, which is one of my favorite fun folds because it's so easy. And it saves you some of your designer paper because you can get nine of these out of one sheet because you cut them at four by four. So you can get three across and three down. So that's nine total. And this is one of the pieces that we're using today. So this is the piece that I cut for the side right here. And I'm going to show you some of the other pieces in here. I don't have much left of this pack. I should have brought a whole pack, but I didn't. But I love this paper. And if you missed one of my other videos, I did this card, which was another fun fold, using the same paper. And you can find this paper in the Celebration catalog. Um, it's really celebration, not celebration, but we always just say it fast. And I can actually show them to you today because they're live. And I know a lot of you guys already placed orders um, and got lots of good stuff. So um, this is a great mini catalog and a great celebration catalog. So here is, I know I've showed you this before. Um, you get one sheet, well actually two in there. That's all the birds that you can cut out. So I've chopped those up. And then we've got this little pink piece I have left. So that's of kind of similar to this one, but smaller birds. And then the blue one I just showed you, that has that on the back. Then the piece we're using today is this one. And then here's another one with the birds in a tree. And I know I'm missing one or two, maybe, I don't know. But that paper is gorgeous. And I don't think it really goes with the stamp set. It's just in the celebration and it's, you know, everything in the celebration and the holiday, I mean the spring mini, is always while supplies last. So if there's something you gotta have, you better get it now. Cause uh, you never know when it's gonna go. 
Um, I also got a card in the mail, and this one is from um, Betty Burke, and she sent me this gorgeous card, and I'm pretty sure it might be a napkin card. I can't really tell, but it kind of looks like a napkin card, and it's got a little bookmark, and I thought this was so cute, and she sent me a get well card because I was sick, but I love this card. I think it's so beautiful, and I think, I don't know if it's just not... Maybe it's a napkin card or maybe it's just not stamping up paper. I'm not sure. But the paper is gorgeous. And I love this idea. I think that's so cute. And then just tie a little tassel on there for a bookmark. So love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Betty. Love that card. So, all right. So here's the stuff going on right now. We've got celebration. So there's three different ways you can get free stuff. If you buy something, you get a free celebration item for every $50 out of the celebration catalog and there's tons of stuff in here I'm gonna show you so now I can show you since it is live so we've got the watermelon set which is adorable and if you didn't know the watermelon here goes with the oval punch so we have a punch that matches that and then we've got this paper right here sunny days that's free with a $50 order here is our gorgeous paper we're using today, the Flight and Airy. That's free with the $50 order. And lots of pretty samples. You have the Cradled in Love stamp set, free with the $50 order. There's more paper. I love the paper in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the one I used the other day, Softly Stippled. That does match a stamp set. So that goes with the Stippled Roses bundle. And that's free with the $50 order. This Valentine's um, paper, uh, Most Adored, or yeah, Most Adored, that is free with a $50 order. And then we've got another stamp set, Heartfelt Hellos, and that's free with a $50 order. We're going to be using this punch today. It's the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. That's available in the, um, oh, what is that? It carried over, I think, from the, oh no, wait a minute, it's in the mini catalog this one okay it's brand new I was thinking that was in the holiday mini but I guess not so that's in the big spring mini and then we've got some more paper for the guys called trusty toolbox um this alligator set jungle pals and that's free with the $50 order so tons of stuff free um dies are free this is with the hundred dollar order and then here's another one with the $100 order, so Softly Sophisticated Bundle. So you get both the stamp set and the embossing folder. And that's gorgeous. And then another one, Detailed Dogwood. This one is free with the $100 order because it's a bigger stamp set. And that's gorgeous. All right, so, <clears throat> and then there's another special. So there's always a joining special when you have celebration. So you can have two choices. You can either get this right here, which is the glass mat kit. So you get the glass mat, which is, um, it has the grid on it and it's big, it's big. I meant to bring it in here and show you. It's 17 by 14, so it's really big. So it'll take up a lot of your desk. Um, the only thing I don't like for videos is it has a glare. So if I had it right here, it'd be a glare on the screen. So that's why I haven't put it in here. But it is really, really nice. And wipes clean with water or alcohol. You also get a silicone mat with it. And you get, um, it has four palette squares for custom color mixing, mixing which is white. That's this thing right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then the cleaning cloth. So you get that little cleaning cloth to wipe everything off. Or if you don't want that, you can get $30 in free product to add to your starter kit. So the starter kit normally is $125 a product and you get that for $99. So you can either get for $99 bucks, $155 of product or $125 plus the glass mat kit, which is all three of those things. So that's if you join and get the starter kit. And then I already told you if you order $50 or $100, you can pick these free things. And then if you're a host or you just like to place a big order, if your order's over $300, you get an additional $30 in free rewards. So that is $66 total 
Um, that's in the U.S. I don't know how much it is in other countries, but in the U.S., you get $36 for a $300 order. So now you're going to get $66 free for um, a $300 order. So lots of good stuff. So that's that. Um, here's the card kit for this time until the 15th. So you get three of these. I only have two right here, but you get three of the supplies to make these cards. And that's if your order is $50 or more with the host code. Make sure you use the host code. I've had a bunch of people who have forgot lately. So please don't forget to do that. And if your order is over 100, you'll get the gems too, which are my favorite um, gems that we have, um, the rhinestones. And you can color these with the Stampin' Blends any color you want to. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but that's always a fun thing. So let me go through the um, Spring Mini real fast for you. So for those of you that didn't catch one yet, you should have gotten one from me if you're one of my customers. But let me just show you some of the things in here that I love. And let me read some comments real quick, too, because you guys are talking today. Let's see. Oh, Debbie. You're watching me right down the road in Deep Creek. What? What? That's so cool. Where do you live? Because I'm in Deep Creek right off Gallberry Road. So you should come by and visit in your PJs. <laughs> I have no hair, no makeup, but I have my pajamas on. <laughs> um, Let's see. Hey, Karen. Everybody's got raining or snow, I think. Any, anybody have sunshine today? Because it's pretty gross out. Oh, Starla, you watched that movie, The Adam Project. That's the one I was talking about the other day. It is really funny, and it's really cute. Um, I also watched another movie. I think I told you guys. Well, it's a series on... Is it on Netflix? Yeah. It's called The Way Home, and that is super, super good. It's 10 episodes, um, and it has Andy McDowell in it. It's about time travel, and it's really, really good. So that's a good one. Um... Everybody's got gross weather. Love the DSP. Do I find it hard to cussy fu cussy foot? <laughs> Fussy cut? The birds, no. The birds are so easy to cut. It takes about 30 seconds. I can't even talk today. That's so funny. Um, if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, did you see the picture I posted the other day? It was like a filter. And it made me look really young and thin and had gorgeous hair. So I, I looked at it and I was like, man, I wish I looked like that again. Because, you know, I used to look like that when I was younger. I had really pretty hair, like long, gorgeous hair. And, you know, I was thinner. So it kind of brought, reminded me of what I used to look like. But <clears throat> somebody posted on there that um, made a comment to another person and said she thought it was her and I started laughing I thought she was talking about me and I said it is me it's just a filter to make me look younger but then I realized she was talking to a friend of hers so I clicked on the girl's um profile and looked at her and she does look a lot like me and I said that's really funny so they say we all have a twin out there somewhere so maybe people tell me that all the time though they're like you look exactly like one of my friends all right, so let me show you some of these in here. Let me put my glasses on. All right, so we have, there's that stippled rose that's so pretty. And there's lots of kits. Now this one is super popular. It's not one of my favorites just because I'm not into the cutesy stuff, but it is very, very popular. And it's called Be Mine. It's got the bees in here. And it's a sweet. So you get all this stuff together or you can get it separately. But here's the stamp set and that's what it looks like. And it comes with a punch, a bee punch. And um, that's really, really popular. So if you like the cutesy stuff, that is a great one for you. And it's real cute Valentine's stuff. <clears throat> I don't really do Valentine's because I don't have a boyfriend, so I don't have anybody to give it to. <laughs> But maybe that'll change one day soon. I don't know. I have to meet somebody first. Um, this one is really cute. Here's another one that's called Sending Love. Kind of a Valentine's um, want. Or it could be any time, but it's really cute. Um, this one I love. This has the new punch, which we're using today. So this is that new hexagon, um, heartfelt hexagon punch. 
and we'll be using that on our card right here. So it's a beautiful punch, and I just had an idea to use it for something different too, so I'm gonna try that out. So that's cute. Here we've got Hooray for Surprises. That's adorable. Love this one, Forever Love. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And that's a sweet. As you can tell, I bought a lot of this extra because I love it. And what's really pretty in here is this right here. I don't know if you guys saw this, but these um, cards and envelopes, they're gold foiled flowers, cards, and envelopes. So they're at the bottom of page 15 and they are beautiful. So I'm gonna do some cards with those. And the stamp set is gorgeous too. So beautiful paper. Um, this one is really, really cool. Let me take a sip of water. Oh, something just tipped over. Oh, my shimmer spray. <coughs> Good thing it wasn't my drink. This one has a die in it that is so cool. So it's right here, right there. It's kind of like the Grassy Grove die. So you have um, things you can put behind it, and it has the trees in the front. It's really, really pretty. So... That's it right there. It's hard to see. I'll bring it in here one day. Then we've got a brayering thing. So there's a stamp set and a hybrid um, embossing folder. So it cuts out and embosses and a new brayer. And supposedly, I haven't gotten it yet, but this brayer is supposed to be really, really cool. And um, I guess it has like a little... Um, ledge or something so when you set it down it doesn't get your paper dirty it's like up off the paper so that's good and then we've got this one which is really really pretty the hills of tuscany and this one the fern bundle gorgeous i love that one right there i love any kind of texture background this is my favorite i think in the whole mini catalog this perennial lavender I love this one, and I almost did another card with this today because I cannot stop using this paper. But I thought, okay, I've already done like four videos with this paper, so I gotta do something else. So the paper is gorgeous. And I would say this is probably gonna sell out because I ordered five more packs um, the other day when we, when we um, started this catalog on the fourth because I just absolutely love it. I think it is so pretty. And the stamp set's gorgeous. The butterflies are gorgeous. The dies, you can buy and get use that for anything because they're just like um, the postage stamp punch was. Ugh, love the samples in here. They're so gorgeous. You could just copy these cards out and um, you would have a whole bunch of samples. This one is really cute. Easter lilies. I'm debating on getting that one or not. Um, this one, the eggs, I don't really do cutesy or the holidays except for Christmas. So I don't buy Easter stamps too much, but that's cute. This one is really pretty. I haven't decided on this one yet, but it's very, very cute. Love this one. Kind of reminds me of that one we had in celebration either last year or the year before with the blueberries. Love it. Love the colors in that. This one is really pretty too. It's distinctive and it's got this cake. So you can do each layer different colors and I just think it's so pretty. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm going to. This one is really cute. There's so many in here that I love. There's not that many that I don't. Now this one is cute, but it's not my style. So I didn't get it, but it is cute. And then that's what it looks like there. This one is great to go with that oval punch. I did get that one. Um, this is a good one for scrapbooking. So if you are into scrapbooking, I think that's a good one. This one, not my style, but it is cute. This one I love, love, love. So this has masks with it, like the um, sunflower one did in the last mini catalog. So you can layer all your layers to make your flowers like that. So that is gorgeous. I did get that. I just haven't tried it out yet. Another gorgeous sweet. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me read some comments. Oh, Lynn says she has a picture from 40 years ago that she wishes she could be for one day. I know. Um, 
craft store markers, but ready to buy Stampin' Up! Stampin' Blends. Any suggestions on where to start color-wise? Amy, I would just start with whatever favorite colors are yours. So, um, you can buy them individually or you can buy them in a set. Well, the blends you can't buy in a set. you got to buy them individually. So, I would just pick, like, you know, five or ten colors that you just really like. Um, I need to get a friend. <laughs> I have lots of friends, but I need a male friend. I need a boyfriend. Um, yeah, I don't have any grandkids either. I don't have any kids. I mean, I do have a daughter, but she's 30, almost 31. She doesn't have kids yet. Um, Kathy bought the gold envelopes. They're really, really pretty. Um, bought the suite of perennial lavender. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Yes, Maria, I have a lot of check marks. You're right. And all those check marks are what I bought. So anything with the check, I already bought it. <laughs> so I bought that. Oops, I just ripped it. So that's a really good one. And this is one of my favorites right here too. Love, love, love this one. And I did a couple cards with that already. Um, this one is like kits, making memories and more kits. I don't really like that phone one. That's one I'll pass on. Um, now these are two um, big background stamps that are really cute. The dogs, I'm not a really a dog person, but it is cute. And the flower one. So those are great for doing backgrounds. And if you're a dog person, which I know almost everybody is except me, they make really, really cute cards and things like that. I think that's adorable. <coughs> this one, the mini alphabet dies, that's a great one. I got that. Um, got this one for free from Stampin' Up. Um, this one, more for little kids. Um, not for me, but it is cute. And that's the stamp set. So if you have little kids, these are more for little kids. Or grandkids. I know a lot of you guys are, are my age or older, so more grandkids, I think. So all these, these are more kitty style. Now, if you're into music, this is a good one. I think that's that's nice. I do like the background paper. The, there's some really pretty paper in there. And then a masculine stamp set. Of course, I put no because I don't have any men in my life. <laughs> and then we've got graduation in here. So if any of you guys have people graduating, kids or grandkids or neighbors or whatever, we've got a beach set. I didn't really love that one this year. It's, I have some that I like a lot better, but I'm definitely a beach person and almost buy every beach that we have. Cliffs by the Ocean. I'm waiting to debate on that one. I love it, but it's a lot of coloring, so I'm not sure about that. Love, love, love this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Great dies. Even if you don't like the stamp set, the dies are awesome because they're um, shapes for like words and things like that. Love it, and that paper is gorgeous. So definitely want to get that one. And that's the stamp set, which is so pretty. Love it. Then, oh, this one. I love this one, too. The reflection one. I've got that one. Haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. Love this one. All the check marks. Definitely got to get this one. <clears throat> now, this one's kind of hiding. The layered florals in embossing folder. That's a hidden gem because that is gorgeous and it's oh it's just so pretty. I have to use that one soon. I've seen a lot of pretty samples with it. Love that little bird. So cute. I used this one the other day when I did this card. So this is from that set. Love it. And then we're done. So there you go. And I think, is there a host set in here? Maybe. Yep, so there's one host set, Carnival Treats. <coughs> All right, so there you go. So if you don't have yours yet, I hope you get it soon. So let's get started with stamping. We're making three because they're super easy. So let me read the comments real quick. I like dogs, but I love cats. Oh, Starla. I'm so allergic to cats. I go into anaphylactic shock if I even get near a cat. And then my daughter has two. She has two dogs, two cats. They're talking about getting another dog. Because <clears throat> I don't think they're going to have kids. And uh, if I get near a cat, I am going to 
totally go into an allergic uh, fit because I'm deathly allergic to cats. Let me see. Okay, I think I got all the comments. All right, love this mini catalog. So here's the card we're making. So what you need are three <clears throat> of the four and a quarter by 11 fresh freesia. And so I cut them long ways. Then I scored it at four and a quarter and five and a half. So that'll be in half. And then this part will go back for our book binding like that. So you need three of those, three of the white for the inside. And that's four by four, so easy cut. If you have white 12 by 12, it's easier to cut it out of that. Then you don't waste anything. Four by four, three of those of the um, flight and airy paper. And three of the um, strips right here, one by four. And then you need some ribbon and some scrap paper. And that's it. Super easy. Okay. So get a screenshot and we will get started. All right. And I had several people comment um, lately that they really like the measurements being right on the project like this. It just makes it easier for you. All right. So not much stamping on this one. We're going to stamp real quick everything and then put them together. So only thing we have to stamp is the inside and the words. So let me get a piece of scrap paper if I can find the one. There we go. All right. So for the words and the leaves inside, so this is what I did. The little leaves. I did them in blue. I was thinking about green, but I said, no, I'm going to do blue. So we're going to use boho blue and it matches perfectly. So just ink that up and just do it right on the corner right here. You could do one, but I always like to do multiples like that. I think it looks pretty. Love this little leaf stamp. I just think that's just gorgeous. And it matches the little leaves right here on the bird's um, branch. And I forget where I got this one from, but it's somewhere in the spring mini. I have to go look. All right, and then our words, we gotta punch out this first. So I just got some strips of white and we're gonna punch. <clears throat> this is two inches across here. So I just cut the paper a little bit bigger than two inches. So we're gonna need three of these. Always do your punches upside down so you can see what you're doing. And then we're gonna stamp our words on here. I love these words. Thanks, thank you for everything. So the way they go, it's better to put your bird over on this side, but um, I couldn't find all the birds that were like going that way. So you could also stamp it at the top and then put a bird at the bottom, but I liked the bird on the top better. Okay, and then one of my favorite things to do is dip this. So we're just gonna dip it. So just kind of roll it in the ink pad to get our edges. And that gives you a really pretty look right there. I love doing that. You could put a back piece on if you wanted to cut another punch with um, like the blue, the boho blue, um, and then cut it in half. If you cut one out, cut it in half, say this was blue, cut it in half this way or this way, and then you just pull it apart and you can back it up behind it if you want to. But I just decided to go super easy today since I was running behind. I didn't get out of work till, oh almost 11 o'clock last night and every night this week almost I've been getting out of work super late so <clears throat> I've just been tired it's been one of those weeks where you're just tired all the time all right and then we've got our birds here so I already cut a couple out and somebody said is it hard to cut them out no it's super easy to cut them out so let me show you 
Let me get my scissors. Remember the key to cutting, fussy cutting, or cussy fudding, <laughs> as I said earlier, is keep your scissor hand still and your other hand is the one that moves. So this hand right here that's cutting is barely gonna move. We're just going to turn our paper and I'm gonna cut the feet off because that's too much work. So I am barely moving my right hand. I'm moving the paper instead. So just go right up here. And I want to cut it pretty close because I don't want to get the white edge too much around here. So just go right up here. Don't cut his nose off. And just spin that paper as you go. And there you go. So there's my other bird. And that took less than about 30 seconds. And there's another one. So all I did was just take that one piece of paper that has all the birds and I just picked some out. Now because I did this card... In a class, pretty much all of my birds that had the pink in them, the pinkish purple, like fresh freesia color, I had already used all those. So I just went with the yellow and the um, blue and green ones today. So they match anything. All right, then we need some ribbon. So we need some ribbon for here. Let me cut three pieces of that. And I brought scotch tape because this ribbon, for some reason, does not like to stick unless you use like real tape because it's kind of um i don't know the word i'm looking for but it doesn't like to stick all right so let's go ahead and start gluing together stuff so i'm going to use my green glue my favorite like dipped edge better says marie i think the leaves are in notes of nature probably i have no idea you learned the rolling technique and love it. <laughs> what stamp set is Lisa using? I think it is that Notes of Nature. Let me look real quick. That was in the back. Nope, it's not there. Um, let me see. Is it in this one? I don't know where it is from. Nope. Starla should know. Starla knows where everything is. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's not in there. <laughs> Unless I just missed it. Inspiration. Okay, Starla said the inspirational sketches for the words. How about the um this leaf? Where's this leaf from? So the words are from inspirational sketches. What about the leaves? I'm so bad about doing that. I always forget to look up where I get stuff because I just grab it off the table. Okay, so we're putting this in here, right there. Probably should put the ribbon on first, but it doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> Anybody find it? Just a second. Starla can find any stamp set in less than a minute, usually. She's the most organized person I've ever seen in my whole life. I need her to come organize my whole house. Sharon says, if I don't roll my edges, they look naked. I know it. Stiffened roses. Stippled. Stippled. <laughs> Stippled roses. <laughs> Karen, you're like me this morning. You can't talk either. <laughs> we have stiff, stiff roses. <laughs> the stippled roses. Maybe that is it. Stippled roses. I think that is where the, they're from. Page 64. Okay, page 64. How did I miss that? 64. Yep, there it is. Stippled roses. Karen got it. <laughs> Thanks, Starla. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Oops, I think I made that crooked a little bit. Yep, I sure did. Too late now. It's down. Okay, we have crooked. It's crooked. 
let's just put a little bit more, make it really crooked. Okay, so then on the front, we're gonna put these and our paper. That back is pretty too. And I love even numbers. So four by four is an easy one to cut. This is like the super easiest card ever. So you can whip these out in no time. So at work, um, you know, at, I work at the urgent care center. And so January 1st, a lot of people get new insurance cards. So it's always a horrible time of the year for us because people come in with their old cards or they haven't gotten their new cards yet. I'm talking about insurance cards. And uh, so we have this company here. I don't know if you guys have it, but it's called Centera. It's like the big, biggest health company around here. So a lot of people have insurance through them and it was called Optima and then it switched to Centera on January 1st. And they've been announcing it like on TV, all over the place. And so everybody should have gotten new cards. Well, we knew this was gonna happen. So here comes <clears throat> January 1st and everybody's coming in with their old cards, which they switched like everything on there. So the cards are totally different. So for the last few days, everybody's coming in with these old insurance cards that are no good because everything's changed on it. And then we tell them you have to get the new card. It came in the mail, you know, cause they sent them out like weeks ago, but a lot of people don't check their mail. Or they get it and they think, oh, it's just a new card, same, everything's the same, they'll throw it in the trash. So all these people are coming in and I'm like, sorry, we can't take it. And we don't have like, you know, magic computer like the hospitals do that we can look stuff up because we're just a private company. All right, so now we got those two people pieces on the front, that one's in the inside. We're gonna take this and wrap it around. And so we have had a lot of really mad people coming in. And it's just made it a difficult week. So I'm hoping these people will hurry up and get their cards straight. Because this happens every year. But this year is probably the worst because this is the first time this company has done it. And, and they're literally like one of the biggest insurance companies around this area. So it affects a lot of people. We have a lot of TRICARE too. Probably that's the military insurance because we have a lot of military people around here. All right, so put that down, and then we're gonna glue those. Let me glue it now, because this doesn't stick very well, so the faster you get it glued down, the better. I'm gonna put extra glue. Okay. So the TRICARE is easy, because they don't ever change that stuff. But the other stuff, oh, it just gives you a headache thinking about it. And then when people are sick and they don't have their stuff, they get mad at you, not themselves. Even though they know they should have their stuff, they don't have it, and then they get mad. They're like, well, nothing's changed. I'm like, mm, yeah, it did. Yep. Sorry. Okay, so just tape that down. This is just plain old scotch tape. You can use, like, some regular tape, but I found that it just pops up pretty quickly, so... This seems to hold it better. That is crooked. All right. I love this ribbon though. It's one of my favorites. I need something to hold this down like heavy. <clears throat> we'll use this. There. All right, one more. See how easy these are? Love it. You guys are going to die with this joke today. So <laughs> I remembered it. After I was reading it, I started remembering it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that's hysterical. It's, it's a good one. But I am running out of jokes. I think I've told like every joke out there almost. <laughs> but I do appreciate when you guys send me some. I used to get a lot on Facebook, but um, I think I've used all the ones that I used to get from the one 
group I was in. All right, so put that there. And then just let that sit for a minute. Let me read some comments. Oh, thanks, Cam. Yeah, Sharon, we... Yeah, the schools, now the schools here get theirs, I think, the 1st of September. But most businesses get them the 1st of January. Oh, use your acrylic blocks to put pressure on the car. That's a good idea. Yeah, Joan, TRICARE for Life and Medicare is like really good insurance. We have a lot of those. You should put a note on the door. Use your new cards. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do. When they check in, we have a little kiosk they check in on it. It says, make sure you have your ID and your insurance card ready. So, all right. So there we go. I've got all those done. Now we're going to take um, another piece of ribbon and tie a little knot over here. And I just like to keep this one on the roll because then you waste less. So just tie a little knot here and trim it. Oops. Lost my thing here. And then I'm going to put a glue dot underneath that in just a minute to hold it down. This is just the prettiest ribbon. This carried over from the um, holiday mini. So you can still get it. I think it's just available online, but um, it's called the Silver and White sheer ribbon and the number is 162149 so this is still available that was a terrible cut there oops but it's so pretty love it love it love it i'm sure sliding around a lot today i don't know why so i saw this recipe on um facebook reels so it's a one pan beef stroganoff, which I'm not a beef eater. I, don't, I rarely eat beef unless it's like a hamburger or something. I don't eat like steak and stuff, but um, I've always liked beef stroganoff because it's more like you can use it with hamburger or like, you know, little strips of meat. I just don't like chewing big hunks of meat for some reason. It's just a texture thing for me, but... Anyway, I saw this reel and I said, oh, that looks really easy. So I'm going to make it for dinner tonight. So it's one pan and you put a block of cream cheese in the middle. And then you put um, a bag of egg noodles. And um, let's see what else. There was a little Dijon mustard. And then it had two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Um, one can of beef broth. I'm going to trim this. And let's see, what, do, what do we have? So we got cream cheese, the egg noodles, um, a little Dijon mustard squirted on there, two cans of cream and mushroom soup, a can of beef broth, um, oh, shredded beef. So you could use like probably could use hamburger if you wanted to but this was like shredded beef or like beef chunks that you get at the grocery store and what else oh a bunch of seasonings can't remember exactly which ones but um i i saved the video so i could go watch it and i want to say that's about it and then you just put it in the oven and cook it for like i don't know 30 minutes or something and when you take it out, you stir it all up and it's totally ready and it looks really good. So I'm going to try it and I'll let you know how it is and then I'll bring the recipe if it's a good one. All right. So then we're going to put these on here with dimensionals and we're going to put the birds on too. So we got to figure out where we want our birds to go. So I'm just going to put a little tape on these because we want just like this is the perfect one because the tail goes the right direction so it's going over that way so we're just going to put a little bit of tape on his body and put it right there and then this one is going the wrong direction but that's okay we can still work with that so just put a little bit of tape 
on the body there. Just make sure you don't cover your words up. And then this one is okay. I'd rather have the tail the other direction, but we can kind of make him. I wonder if we could just cut the tail off and put it on the other side. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. We're just going to be sneaky here and put the tail on the other side. So... tail is not covering up anything and it looks like let's put it closer there there we go let me put it up higher now nobody will be the wiser that we cut the tail off <laughs> I think it does look like it's on the wrong side now though <laughs> it should be on there <laughs> well we're just not going to tell anybody we did that <laughs> got a crooked bird. That tail was in the way though. He's flopping that tail around. All right, so then we're going to flip these over, put some dimensionals on here. And four should be good. I love this new punch. I love punches. I wish we had more punches. Dies are always good, but then you got to go find them. My punches are always like in one spot in a, a organized thing, so it's easier to find them than. Uh oh. Okay. Thought my bird fell off. I thought about putting some ribbon underneath this too. That would have looked good. All right, so now you just want to figure out where you want to put it. So there's one that's got the right color in it. So I'm going to put this one right here so we kind of match. Because if you put it there, well, you could put it there too. Put it wherever you want to. I think I like it down here better. There we go. <clears throat> and then this one, let's see. I think this one looks good up there. Just kind of figure out which bird you like where. Although he looks like he's looking this way, so we need to put him on this one. So he's looking at the other birds. There we go. All right, and then this one can go up here. Then I've got some gems to put on here that match perfectly. These are the, hold on, what are they called? 2022-2024 In Color Pearls. So let's get our take your pick. And I'm gonna put this lid on here so I don't poke myself. And these right here on the edge match perfectly with this color. So I love these. Just put them wherever you want. And then we're gonna do some shimmer. And we're done. Except for my joke. Aren't these cute? And so, so easy. And if you want to, you could put a dimensional behind the bird's head to give it more stability. Um, if you don't like him sitting up like that. Or her could be a girl. Um, let's put it there. Okay. So if you wanted to, just stick one, peel it off, and stick it on the back of this bird like that. That'll hold down the head more. So that way it won't get caught on stuff. and he won't fly away. So we'll just stick it right there on the back. All right, now we're gonna do some spray and give it some sparkle. Oh, you know what else I watched, which was kind of, oh, it was really awful. 
the, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, it's got Jim Caviezel in it, and it's about the sex trafficking of kids. It's, oh, Sounds Like Freedom. That was the name of it. Oh, my gosh. That was a good movie, but it was, oh, so sad. It's like a tearjerker, so it's not a happy movie, that's for sure. It's awful, awful, awful what happens in the movie, but it was very good. All right, so there's my cards for today. So, oops, hope you love them. I don't know if you can see all the sparkle on there but it is gorgeous. Let me see. Yes, heart-wrenching. The bird is malting and lost his tail feathers. <laughs> oh. That bird is looking for his tail. <laughs> Uh-oh, what happened? I missed something here. Bird number three is a freak of nature. Yes, Bill. Um chemo treatments. Oh, Joan, I'm so sorry. So everybody pray for Joan's husband having to go through chemo. Ugh, that's awful. Okay, so there's my cards for today. I hope you love them. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe, do thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, for some reason, my thumbs up don't show up. It shows I have one thumbs up. But hopefully there's more than that right now. I don't know why it's not um, showing the real time. But um, do comments, subscribe, all that good stuff for me. All right, here's a joke. You ready? This is a funny one. And this is from Carrie Hamilton. All right. <clears throat> I did tell this one a long time ago, but hopefully most of you guys don't remember it. All right. He slid into bed, kissed his wife on the cheek, and fell into a deep sleep. He awoke before the pearly gates. St. Peter said, you died in your sleep, Ralph. Ralph was stunned. I'm dead? What? It can't be. I've got too much to live for. Send me back. St. Peter said, hmm, perhaps that could be arranged. It does involve a lot of paperwork, but sure. You've got two alternatives. You can come back as a fish or a hen. Ralph never liked swimming and thought that perhaps being a hen wouldn't be so bad after all. Walking around, pecking on the at the ground, no stress, and if the local rooster was nice, then perhaps it could be a comfortable existence. Ralph replied, okay, I'll choose to be a hen. The next thing he knew, he was covered with feathers, clucking and pecking the ground. A rooster strolled past. So you're the new hen, huh? How's your first day here? Not bad, replied Ralph, the hen, <laughs> but I have this strange feeling inside, like I'm going to explode. You're ovulating, explained the rooster. Don't tell me you've never ha laid an egg before. Never, said Ralph. Well, just cluck twice and then push. Ralph clucked twice, pushed, and voila, out popped an egg. Ralph was overcome with emotion as he experienced motherhood for the very first time. He then clucked twice, pushed, and out came another egg. His joy was overwhelming. As he was about to lay the third egg, he felt <laughs> a smack on the back of his head. <laughs> And heard his wife shout, dang it, Ralph. I'm not cussing. Wake up. You're pooping in the bed. <laughs> there was really cuss words in it, but I'm not saying it. So Ralph was pooping the bed and having a dream about it. I know some of y'all have done that yourselves because I never pooped in the bed, but I almost peed in the bed one time because you know how you're dreaming and you're dreaming about going to the bathroom and then you wake up and you got to run. That's what happens when you get older. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that joke from Carrie. And even though it was an oldie, um, but a goodie one. So thank you, girl. Um, all right, so some reason I got this big block at the bottom of my comments. That was a good old joke. Yes, it was. I had forgotten about it. A lot of jokes I've read before, but it's been so long ago, I barely remember. So I might start redoing some jokes. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Hopefully, you'll be able to stay inside and uh, take a nap, lay by the fire, stay warm, all that good stuff. So enjoy yourselves, and I'll be back on Tuesday night with another video. And I'll see you soon.
a new joke for her, Wendy says. All right, you guys, don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. See you soon. Bye-bye.